Former Highland-based attorney who built a non-English speaking client out of 24,000 has been suspended from practicing law for at least three years. Well, there's somebody out there now that needs, uh, needs a little representation. Indiana Supreme Court voted five to nothing to suspend Jerry. I don't know if that's an I or an L. Must be an I. Is that an I or an L? It's an I. Jerry I. Shapiro. Let's just call him Jerry Shapiro. How about Jerome? Jerry Shapiro has been suspended for violating eight separate rules of professional conduct, including engaging in conduct involving dishonesty, fraud, deceit, or misrepresentation. Is this Jerry on in seat one? Oh, hey, is this Barry Shapiro? <laughs> no, this is Barry from Hagley. Yeah, hijack you for some traffic. Hey, giddy up. Yeah, we need uh, we need that information. Southbound Indianapolis Boulevard, there's an accident right in front of Theo's. An accident right in front of, you know what, I th probably, here's what happened. Athena probably got out of her car and was walking to the door and Theo. caused an accident. Let's get back to Jerry Shapiro here. i got to find out what this guy did. According to the court's order, Shapiro was hired in 2006 by the daughter of a deceased Lake County woman who handled the probate of her mother's estate, consisting of a home and two bank accounts. The daughter, the sole beneficiary, lives in Poland. Yashi Mash! Dubja, Dubja! That's, you know that those, two, that those two statements are overused when I know them and I have no idea what they mean. Yashi mash, dapsha, dapsha. I have no idea what they mean, but I know how to say them. You know they're being overused. I would, I would look for something else. Are you sure that wasn't a Polak dinner over at Club 81 last week? Sausage and sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. See, I'm going to have to go over and see Leo right now. I'm going to have to go see Leo. I can do... Bottoms up and then go over and see Leo and say, hey, look, Leo, <laughs> it's me. It's me, the dog, man. It's me, Shammy, man. And I really dig, man, the sausage and sauerkraut, man, with the mashed potatoes, man. It's my bag, man. And maybe we can put a new item on the menu at Club 81, too. Be the preacher's all-you-can-eat lunch special. <laughs> European style dinner. Can we call it that without anybody getting mad? Is that okay? I don't understand something. If it was a Hungarian dinner and we said all you could eat Hungarian dinner, no one's going to get mad. So what do we got to say? All you could eat Polish dinner? I just don't know. I mean, where do these words come from? Who makes up? Do, is there someone in the evil basement dungeon somewhere sitting around in the early 1900s going, hey, if you say Pollock, that'll piss them off. Let's go with that. I, I just I, I want to know where these words are coming Elephants from. Elephants in the front <laughs> row. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. That means how are you? What about the Yashimash? That's good, good, good. Oh, Yashimash. Oh, that's so right. so you say what do you say first? Yashimash. And that's how are you? Yeah, right. And then and then the adopt adopt him to death. Then that's yeah. I'm good. I'm good. How about how? What's how are you? I'm fine. How are you? You got me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks, hey, Elephant. Uh, eight years w uh, under the Franciscans, I d and uh, being out of uh, Polish school is in 62 years. You kind of forget things if you're not at it at all the time. Why? Why don't we uh, teach Polish in high school? Why do? Why is it German? I don't know. Uh, what we had it back in the during the war was just Latin and uh, uh, Spanish, and of course English. Can Can you speak any Latin? No, you I mean, took Spanish and flunked. Oh. I flunked the first day I got into that class, I found out. 10-4. It wasn't Pig Latin. Pig Latin, they just... Ixne on the Olish pay. Yeah. 10-4. Uh, right. yeah, right. He just uh, <laughs> translated or backwards. All right. Thanks. We'll Thanks, see you. Elephant. Elephant's not clearing anything. Okay. Yashimash. I'm just saying that.
I don't know any Polish at all, but I know those two sentences or those two terms. Yashi Mash and Dapsha Dapsha or whatever it is. All right, back to Shapiro. You know any Hebrew? Why don't midgets have their own language? Small talk, you know. Stuff like that. I think that's where the term small talk comes from. Yeah, I saw it. Those midgets were hanging around and making small talk behind my back, behind my butt. <laughs> See, because they're short, not really behind your back, unless they're standing on a bar stool. According to court order, Shapiro was hired 2006. We went over that, right? The daughter, who uh, was the sole beneficiary, lives in Poland and has limited ability to communicate in English, according to the court. Why did she call a Why did she call a Jewish guy? And she don't even speak English. Why did she call a Polish guy? Shapiro had the home sold, but failed to close the estate, pay state inherent inheritance taxes, file an inventory. Yee. You got to do all this stuff. I better get on the ball. Responded to the daughter's request for information and made unauthorized payments of twenty-four thousand to himself from the estate's assets. From the estate's assets. From their from their from their money. He paid himself. Can you do that? Are you allowed? After the daughter hired a new attorney, Shapiro ignored a court order requiring him to give the records of the estate to the new attorney, resulting in a warrant being issued for Shapiro's arrest. Man, you talk about out of the frying pan into the fire. Contacted Monday by the time, Shapiro said he had no comment in response to the suspension. Is any of this illegal? Put a warrant out for his arrest. Shapiro, who lives in Munster, is suspended from practicing law. I don't need to say it, do I? If he's still practicing, why do you hire him for? I want somebody who already knows what they're doing. Shapiro, who lives in Munster, is suspected. Uh, suspended. <laughs> That's funny. Shapiro, who lives in Munster, is suspended from practicing law until at least... November 2013, well, it won't matter then, it would be the end of the world. He will have to ask for and receive approval from the Indiana Supreme Court to resume his practice after that date. He also separately, he also is separately suspended in a previous discipline case for failing to complete legal education requirements, pay dues, and cooperate with the court's disciplinary commission. Jeez. And they're still hiring the guy. 